Well, I, <laughs> I'm not quite sure that it, it had to really fight its way into the theater. I think, um, and I'm just going on um, guess here, that uh, Warner Brothers hadn't actually meant to release it this year. Well, but, you're being polite. Didn't Clint have to step in and say, come on, let's get this thing out there, guys? Well, I don't know. That's why I say I'm going on guess. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> in on the... Uh, but uh, I think uh, my feeling is that once they saw it, that they thought, well, this is more than we thought it was going to be, and we need to get on it. Obviously, Academy of Voters agree. As we roll a little of it, let's talk about, you know, so much is made of the chemistry in a romantic comedy between a man and a woman. Talk about the chemistry you have in this thing with Clint Eastwood. You're like an old married couple. Well, everybody keeps saying that, and uh, I, I, I just have to fall back on the fact that uh, the characters are, were on the page, and uh, I suppose there is some chemistry between Clint and I. I know I like him a lot, and uh, he likes me, and we've, since uh, we did um, Unforgiven, we found it much very easy. Uh, to work together. So well, you know, for male bonding, I got to go back to Shawshank, which again is you, and this time Tim Robbins, and uh, the same sort of dynamic is happening here, and yet you bring some obviously different nuances to it. Do you think about that when you pick up a script and go, "Oh, I have a great relationship with this guy. That's what makes this a great movie for me." Not really. Uh, you look at the characterizations, of course, and that's the main draw on in any script you pick up, and then story. I was really. Uh, intrigued and in love with this story and of course characters make story in movies so all of that comes together and the idea that it was going to be Clinton and Hillary Swank were just you know it's like almost like a no-brainer it's a dream I mean it was my number two pick of the year it's it's in everyone's top ten uh, was it uh, how many scripts a year does Morgan Freeman read oh heavens I have no idea hundreds <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, well, I'm well over 100 because I think I read two or three a week. It's safe to say you're at uh, a point in your career where you can be pretty choosy. Uh, do you think that uh, this one will take you all the way to the Academy? Uh, Are you going to no, give that speech that night? There's no way of knowing that, and I don't prepare for it. I take every day as it comes. <laughs> It'd be great if it was a voiceover, like uh, the film. Like you would just uh, walk up and your acceptance speech would be just like... Uh, a voiceover there, which, by the way, I think is one of the great things about this film. We can't give too much away. It's not that it has a sixth sense, but it has a, it has a dramatic turn that we don't want to tell too many people about. And it's really important that uh, they get out and support this thing this weekend. What, do you, what have you made, like five or six million dollars so far? Uh, no idea. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's between three and five million, and then it's going much wider this weekend, which is why, obviously, you and I are talking here today, and we hope okay. people uh, go out and find it. Uh, in, a, in a nutshell, though, tell people what it's about. Well, in a nutshell, it's, <laughs> it's a movie about a woman who wants to be a boxer and a man who doesn't want to have anything to do with her when it first starts out. And uh, eventually she wins him over and it becomes this big love affair. Um, oh, I could say it's, um, it's a movie about this guy who's a janitor in a gym. <laughs> and that's about all we want to say, uh, because as I said, there is much more to it that audiences need to discover by themselves. Yeah. You are nominated this year. Jamie Foxx is nominated. Halle Berry has won an Oscar. Are there just better roles coming for black actors these days? Yeah, uh, more and better. And uh, once you get, you know, once you get work, you get recognized. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. We have been brightened by your presence. Morgan Freeman, congratulations on this. Another in an incredible uh, career of great performances. And we hope to see you up there on the stage uh, when they call out the best supporting actor. That's very kind of you, Bill. Thank you very much. Good to see you, sir. Bye.